us but to say Let's talk in English Ten minutes every day Let's talk in English Ten minutes every day This is Let's Talk in English. It's a great day here at LTE TV. My name is Katie, and I'm one of your teachers here on the show. Our topic today is still travel, and we have part two of our lesson, passports and pictures. Passports and pictures. Nathan, do you have a good picture in your passport? Oh, of course. All pictures of me look good. No, actually, my passport picture does not look very good at all. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here. My name is Nathan. It's great to spend some time with you today. Now it's time to begin, so find your magazine and turn to today's Read It. Then read along with Nathan right now. Rob is looking at his new passport. He looks very handsome in his passport photo. Most passport photos aren't good. People can't blink or make a funny face. People can't wear a hat either. And their whole face must be in the picture. Megan needs to renew her passport soon. She can go to a photographer to get a good picture. Well, it sounds like Rob got a good picture for his passport, but he's lucky. Passport photos usually don't look too good. And other pictures like that don't always look good either, like pictures from school yearbooks. Katie, have you ever looked at your school yearbook pictures? Oh, yes, I have. School yearbooks have pictures of all the students in them. They don't always look very good either. Well, I think that's because there are many rules for taking those photos. We'll talk about that today, but right now we need to look over our keywords for today. Say hello to Christina. Hello, handsome. The man over there is very handsome. 那边那个男子很英俊。第二个字是名词, photo, 照片。它的复数只要在字尾直接加s就可以了。Look at all the beautiful photos. 下一个字是副词, either, 也怎么样的意思。它都是用在否定句的句尾。例如, I didn't go to that movie either. 我也没有去看那部电影。再来是形容词 whole 全部整个的 I can't finish the whole pizza 我吃不完整个pizza 最后一个字是动词 renew 重新申请或是更新的意思 如果你要 renew the contract 就表示你要更新或者是延续这个合约 What are you looking at, Rob? My new passport. I just got it today. Oh. Can I see your photo? Sure. It's not too bad. You look good. Very handsome. <laughs> Thanks. The post office clerk took the photo three times. Really? Why? I blinked the first time. What about the second time? <laughs> I sneezed. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I see why Rob got a good passport picture. He had three tries. He got to take three pictures. Right. His first two pictures were not good. He blinked the first time, but you cannot blink in a passport picture. But maybe you've never heard the word blink. When you close and open your eyes very quickly, you blink. And you can't close your eyes for a passport photo. But we blink many times every day. Actually, it's hard not to blink. Katie, have you ever tried to keep your eyes open 
as long as you can? Yes, it's not easy. Hey, let's see who can keep their eyes open longer. Ready, Nathan? I'm ready, but are you ready, Katie? Go! Mm. Uh, it's getting harder. Don't blink, Nathan, or you lose. I, I'm, I'm not going to blink, but uh, I need to sneeze. Don't sneeze or you'll blink. Don't do it. Uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, well, I tried, but I lose. I that, blinked. That wasn't too bad, Nathan. You kept your eyes open as long as you could. Well, thanks, Katie. <laughs> well, if something is not too bad, it's pretty good. You can say a new food is not too bad, or maybe some new clothes aren't too bad. Or pictures may not be too bad. They look pretty good. Rob's photo was not too bad because he took it three times. Why don't we see what Christina has to say about that sentence? Rob 去照了护照的相片,邮局的职员帮他拍了三次. The post office clerk took the photo three times. 我们注意一下句尾的 three times. 这种说法在口语的英文中出现,它直接在句尾加上几次,就可以用来修饰动作,表示某一个动作做了几次。比如说,我昨天打电话给你打了六次, I called you six times yesterday. 我昨天看到他三次, I saw him three times. 不过如果是两次的话, 有另外一个字要用哦, 要用 twice. 比如说,他每天都会遛狗两次. He walks his dog twice a day. Twice是两次的意思. So the first time, Rob blinked. The second time, he sneezed. And the third time, he got a good photo. But do you remember who took the photo? Oh, I do. It was the clerk at the post office. A clerk is someone who helps you in a store or other place. He must have taken the photo a few days ago. Yes, because he just got his passport today. That sounds a lot like today's calendar phrase. I just got it today. I just got it today. 我今天才买的。Is this your new toy? Yes, I just got it today. How does it work? I'm not sure. I just got it today. Oh no, I think I broke it. You broke it already? I just got it today. <sighs> I just got it today. I just got it today. 我今天才买的。My passport photos are never very good. There are so many rules. That's true. The photo must be in color. You can't make a funny face. You can't wear a hat. And your whole face must be in the picture. <laughs> right. Sometimes you can't wear glasses either. That's right. You must be able to see your eyes clearly in the photo. And now we are hearing some of the rules for taking these passport pictures. Did you hear the last one? You must be able to see your eyes clearly. Well, that's why you can't blink. If you blink, your eyes are closed. Your passport needs to show what you look like, so it needs to show your eyes. Right. Sometimes it is hard to see who someone is if you can't see their eyes. And people can also look very different if they wear glasses, too. Yes, they do make you look a little different. Sometimes you can't wear glasses for pictures. But if you use, usually wear glasses, you can wear them for the picture. Now, I know in Chinese you have different words for putting on clothes 
and putting on glasses. But in English, we wear both of them. The word does not change. So you don't have to remember another word. That's good. But there are more rules that we need to remember for these passport photos. You know that you must be able to see your eyes clearly, but you also must be able to see your whole face in the picture, not just your eyes. And if you must, you have to. Now we must learn some more about this with Christina. 拍护照的照片有很多的规定，其中一项就是照片必须能清楚地看到你的眼睛。You must be able to see your eyes clearly in the photo. 注意一下句子里的 be able to， 就是能够的意思，相当于 can。句子里的 must be able to 就是一定要能够怎么样的意思。比如说 ，You must be able to answer these questions. 你一定要能够回答这些问题，或者想要得到这个工作，你的英语一定要说得很好。You must be able to speak English well. If you want to learn English, you must be able to remember lots of words and phrases. But we are here to help you. So let's keep going with our lesson. We've been using two words a lot today. Picture and photos; these words mean the same thing. Well, there are many kinds of pictures, but a photo is one kind. And there are just a few more simple rules for your passport picture. That's right. Your picture must be in color, not in black and white. And you can't make funny faces. Okay, everyone. That's all the time we have now. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Let's talk in English. Ten minutes every day. That's the way. Welcome back to the show, everyone. We have been talking about passports and passport photos today. Rob just got his new passport, and he had a good picture in it. We have learned a lot of rules that you need to follow for passport photos. They must be in color, and you must be able to see your eyes clearly. Let's see what else we learn in conversation C. Did you get your passport picture at the post office? Yes. I need to renew my passport soon, so I need new pictures. You can go to a photographer too. That's a good idea. Then I might get a better picture. <laughs> you only take a passport picture once every ten years. Then I should have a good picture. Hey, that is really true. We should get good photos for our passports. Passports stay the same for a long time, and I'm glad they do. I don't want to get a new one very often. It's not too hard, but I don't like to do it either. I know it's not very fun, but we can still use some time to take a good picture. You only take a passport picture every ten years. Well, that might be a good idea, but it's a great sentence, actually. It's today's use it sentence. Let's learn about it with Elizabeth. Now let's learn how to use the pattern. You only do something once every something. For example, you only eat breakfast once every day, or you only wash a car once every few weeks. You're doing a great job. Now don't forget to. Use it. Thanks for your help, Elizabeth. It's good to have a useful sentence to practice every day. Let's try it now.、Mm, okay. Let's see. Maybe you only take a vacation once a year. Or you only eat fast food once a week. What way can you use it, everyone? Now. 
Katie was saying earlier that you should take a good passport photo. I think it would be great to have a good passport photo, but how can you get one? Well, Rob had an idea. You can go to a photographer. They are professional, so they can take good pictures. You could try, but you still have to follow all of the rules. You can't really do anything special, so why go to a photographer? Well, Nathan, a photographer can still help you get the best photo. They can make sure the light looks good. Oh, that's true, but I think what you do is more important for the picture. Wear normal clothes that look nice and make sure your hair looks good too. Well, see, then you would have a much better picture in your passport. You know, that doesn't even sound very hard. No, but it's harder than it sounds. Now, reviewing keywords is easy, though, right? I think now it's time to practice all of our keywords together. So say them with us, everyone. Here's the first keyword photo. Photo. I took this photo with my camera. Handsome. Handsome. Jake is very handsome. Either. Either. I hate pie. I don't like cake either. Hole. Hole. I can't see the whole movie screen. Renew. Renew. Don't forget to renew the book. Okay, everyone, those are all the keywords that we learned today. Did you remember them all? Make sure you practice them. Right now, we're going to review our conversations together. What are you looking at, Rob? My new passport. I just got it today. Oh, can I see your photo? Sure. It's not too bad. You look good. Very handsome. <laughs> Thanks. The post office clerk took the photo three times. Really? Why? I blinked the first time. What about the second time? <laughs> I sneezed. My passport photos are never very good. There are so many rules. That's true. The photo must be in color. You can't make a funny face. You can't wear a hat. And your whole face must be in the picture. <laughs> right. Sometimes you can't wear glasses either. That's right. You must be able to see your eyes clearly in the photo. Did you get your passport picture at the post office? Yes. I need to renew my passport soon. So I need new pictures. You can go to a photographer too. That's a good idea. Then I might get a better picture. You only take a passport picture once every 10 years. Then I should have a good picture. Ooh, ooh, ouch, ouch, it hurts. Ginger, I'm just taking your picture. Relax, it doesn't hurt, okay? Uh, okay, take my picture. Okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. Great! How do I look? Is it good for my passport photo? No. Ginger, you're wearing a hat. Let's, let's take that off. Oh, <laughs> sorry! Okay, let's try again. Okay. One, two, three, smile. There. <laughs> yeah, there! <laughs> Ginger, you blinked. This one's not good either. Oh, no! Uh, let's try it one more time, okay? Okay. One, two, three, smile. I'm sorry, I didn't get your whole face. Oh. One last time, I promise, okay? Oh, okay, okay. One, two, three, smile. <laughs> hey, is that?
that a good one? Ginger, you made a funny face. That's not a funny face. That's my smile. <laughs> oh. Come on, one more time. It's time for Let's Play. And now, let's meet our players. Hi, I'm Larry. I'm Jen, and I'm going to win. I don't think so. You all know me. I'm Mitch. And of course, you too can play from home. Well, today's game is called Most Like the Host. Who would like to go first? Yes, Jen? Uh, how do you play Most Like the Host? Oh, it's easy. You see, I'm the host. You need to say the key word that is most like me, your host. Yes, Mitch? Silly. Uh, no, Mitch. That is not a key word. Okay. But this game is silly. I know what key word you're thinking of, and I'm not going to say it. Well, then maybe Jen will win. You know the words, Jen. Photo, handsome, either whole, renew. Which one is most like me? Yes, Jen. Whole? What? Well, you're a whole man, right? I mean, you're not half a man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, no. Jen, that's not the word that best describes me, your handsome host. I know. Yes, Larry, say it loud and clear. Renew. <laughs> you need to renew your passport and get a new picture. Yeah, because it looks silly. <laughs> no, 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 guys, it's handsome. Can somebody just say the word handsome, please? You? Handsome? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. You said the word handsome. Okay, Larry is our winner today. Oh, stop it. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time right here on Let's, Let's Play. play. I like your answer better, Larry. That's the end of our travel lesson this week, everyone. We didn't talk about going to a cool new place, but we talked about some other very important things. You have to have a passport to travel. They aren't too hard to get, but you do have to follow some rules, especially when you get your passport photo. And now I think you are all ready to get your own passport if you don't have one yet. Or maybe it's time for you to renew your old one. Yes, we need to do that once every 10 years, remember? Well, we're out of time for today. We hope that what you've learned has been helpful. Maybe when you get your passport, or if you need to renew your passport, you can remember these words and practice them again in English. Well, we will see you again right here on Let's, Let's Talk, Talk in, in English. Bye-bye.